good morning students in today's video we will be discussing on how to write the introduction chapter of a research proposal or a research article as all of us know the introduction chapter of a research proposal or a research report is very important when you are writing a research proposal the introduction chapter determines if you your proposal will get approved or not or accepted or not when you are writing introduction of a research article that the introduction determines how the article get acceptance among the readers if the reader continues reading or not depends on the um, writings of introduction chapter the introduction should be designed to create an interest in the reader about the topic or proposal it should convey to the reader the following points what you want to do what necessitates the proposed study why the proposed research is important for the community for stakeholders and for solving the problem you have to justify why the research is important or proposed research is important so that they should fund your research or they should read your article introduction should highlight the following points who is having an interest in the domain of inquiry is the research focusing on elderly is the research focusing on children is the research focusing on uh, poor people or is the research focusing on cancer patients or diabetes patients who has an interest in the domain of inquiry you have to mention then second point is what do we already know about the topic so you have to write a good literature review or review of the literature you have to review all the available best evidence on the topic then you have to identify the knowledge gap what is knowledge gap what has not been answered adequately in previous research what area is not covered by the previous research or what question is not answered by the previous research and a previous practice they are not doing this or they are not focusing on some media you focus on that so you identify the knowledge gap by doing a review of literature then you highlight your study will be filling that knowledge gap then you have to mention the significance of proposed research what is the benefit for the community because of this research what is a benefit for the reader because of reading this research what is a benefit for the funder because of funding your proposal okay significance of proposed research should be highlighted in the introduction how will this research add to knowledge practice and a policy in this area how important it is okay if you read this article your knowledge gap will be filled or if you fund this proposal uh, uh, you will be able to uh, enrich the enrich the knowledge practice and the policy in this area then highlight the research question what is the research question you are going to address you highlight it and you highlight the hypothesis statements in the introduction what are the hypothesis you are going to prove or disprove 
in this research. Then last sentence of the introduction should state the aim of the research. What is the aim or objective of the research should be mentioned in the last sentence of the introduction chapter. Thank you.